Look who's trying to cross the road here. Let me help you out there. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Finally. Hey there, guys. From all the to and fro we witnessed, I think we could take a bit of it to understand math and especially modulus inequalities. You must be wondering how this is even related to it. Patience, guys, patience. Coming straight to the point, how much travel do you think the puppy had to do between all that running forward and backward? You and I both know that the total distance traveled is not always the same as displacement. Using this exact fact, we are going to justify the very famous triangle inequality. All right. So if we have three steps forward and then again two steps forward, the total distance is the same as the displacement, right? But in our case, there was a lot of back and forth. To make it much simpler, say we have three steps forward and two backward. So what is the total distance traveled? Irrespective of direction, which by the way, we need to establish that mathematically, we associate moving forward as positive and backward as negative. So irrespective of the direction, it's still 3 plus 2 equal to 5, right? And mathematically, this can be better represented by using modulus, which is mod of 3 plus mod of minus 2, which is equal to 5. But if we talk about the displacement, it is evident that it moves only one unit forward. It's one unit which is calculated by modulus of 3 minus 2, which is equal to mod of 1, which gives us 1. As we can see, the displacement is not the same as distance. In fact, here displacement is less than the distance. And this is where the justification of triangle inequalities has been done. Didn't realize? Well, if we consider X and Y as the direction-specific movement, then mod of X plus mod of Y will give us the total distance covered. But when we take the mod of X plus Y, this represents displacement. Why do we end up with unequal or even equal displacement and distances? mainly because of the direction. Therefore, we can conclude that when we deal with opposite directions or numbers with opposite signs, we say that mod of x plus y is less than mod x plus mod y. But if the product of all the numbers is non-negative, then both of these will be equal. After taking both the scenarios, now we can conclude that in general, mod of x plus y is less than or equal to mod of x plus mod of y, which is known as the triangle inequality. And this is true for all real numbers. Now, this gives us the maximum value of mod x plus y. This can be further extrapolated to three or more terms. Hope you understood that well. See you with more such interesting concepts. Bye.